Indiana. I'm Britt LaFosso. Thanks for joining us. The Rain Police Department is mourning the untimely death of one of their own, Detective Javonta Flugens. Detective Flugens died Friday in a single vehicle crash. His beloved fiance Amber and two-year-old child Caroline were also in the crash and tragically did not survive. Our News 10's Kai Price spoke with the lieutenants at the Rain Police Department about the legacy Flugens is leaving behind. State Police says Javante Flugents, Amber Davy, and their two-year-old daughter were traveling here on Highway 13 near Bluefish Road when the car veered off the road, hit a culvert, and flipped over. I couldn't imagine losing, you know, your child and grandchild in the same day. It's just a tragedy. As the community continues to grieve over this tragic loss, Lieutenant Ricky Gray with the Rain Police Department says the department is devastated over the loss of Flugents and his family as well. He says he recalls Javante's first day as a detective in 2019, marking a career of unwavering commitment to keeping crime out of local neighborhoods in Rain. He was one of the top performers. He was pivotal in our fight against drug dealing and drug activity in the city. Uh, he continuously produced the most arrests in that sector. The announcement of Flugence's passing has brought an enormous amount of support from the community and fellow police departments. Gray says the department will continue to support Flugence's family. There's been a tremendous outcry on our social media page and Facebook uh, over this tragic loss. He You know, I think everybody that knew him is going to miss him dearly. As far as for the community, our hearts go out to them. We, the chief and other officers, met with the family last night and will continue to do so in the future. He describes Javante as one of a kind. He says his legacy will continue to live on. I don't think we'll ever be able to replace Javante. He was such a unique person. You know, just his sense of humor you just don't find. Unless you knew him, you, you can't. I'm doing him no justice. The crash is still under investigation. In Crawley, Kai Price, KLFY News 10. Thanks, Kai. Louisiana State Police have released details on exactly what led to the crash. It happened just after 5 in the evening Friday on Highway 13 in Acadia Parish. According to state police, the family was in a Toyota 4Runner traveling south. For reasons still under investigation, their vehicle veered off the road to the right, entered a ditch, struck a culvert, became airborne, and overturned on its roof. 27-year-old Javante Flugents, 26-year-old Amber Davy, and 2-year-old Caroline Flugents, all of Crowley, died at the scene. Because they were unrestrained and partially ejected, troopers are continuing to investigate who was driving at the time of the crash. Law enforcement agencies across Acadiana have taken to social media to share their condolences to the Rain Police Department and friends and family. The Lafayette City Marshal's Office posting, the entire staff of the Lafayette City Marshal's Office stand with you in this time of immense sorrow. We pray for comfort and strength for all who are grieving this unimaginable loss. The Crowley Police Department said we also share in mourning with Amber's father and grandfather of Caroline, Crowley Police Officer Scott Davey. We ask for prayer and strength over their families through this difficult time. The St. Martinville Police Department posting to social media, the loss of an officer is never easy, especially with the loss of his fiance and child at the same time. Please play, pray for the Flugents family, Davy family, and Rain Police Department. Church Point Police also offering their prayers, saying Javante began his law enforcement career here with the Church Point Police Department and developed into a great officer and family man. The chief added, hey, heaven has gained another great police officer to patrol its streets. Rest in peace, my friend. 